What's going on guys? Young Ramsey in this bitch and today we have some more information from Smash Brothers regarding the massive update that's going to be happening on the 31st aka tomorrow. Let's get straight into the news right now dudes or rather at least my reaction to the news. Now there's some really big stuff going on because like I said the Smash Brothers official um, Twitter page is giving out more information as time goes on and now we have more Mii Fighter costumes. I'm going to be making a video about this later on as well too but guys we have a lot of news to look through today so let's see exactly what's going on here. So first off we have something that seems like reminiscent of a Winnie the Pooh honey beer status kind of thing. It looks pretty cute, and this is going to be for the Me Gunner for both men and women Me Gunners. So this looks really cool. The men are going to have a darker shade while the women are going to have a lighter shade. And it seems like the blaster itself is actually their hand inside of a honey pot. So um, really, really cool homage, I guess, paid to Winnie the Pooh in a sense. Although bears generally like honey, so who knows if, if it's a, like an homage being paid or whatnot. But it still looks cool, and um, of course, you know, even though it is me costumes, I'm still glad to see more content being added to the game. And you guys are going to probably kick yourselves at the next me costume that was revealed as well, too. Well, not this one, actually. This is actually the Flying Man from the Earthbound series, and he's actually now in me form. Now, remember, at one point, Sakurai mentioned that for the 3DS version of the game, he wanted the Flying Man to be included inside of the the Magnif... The, the, I don't know how to pronounce that stage. The Magnificent stage? Whatever, whatever the case may be. That stage in Earthbound, he wanted the Flying Man to actually have a 3D model rendered for him, so when he kicks your ass, he does it in HD. But, well, 3DS HD. But, um... That wasn't able to happen because the game wouldn't be able to handle the strain of having the Flying Man have a full 3D model. So he just made him his original 2D sprite, but now it looks like you're going to be able to actually play as that annoying ass Flying Man. And funnily enough, the Mii Brawler's fighting style kind of complements the, um, the Flying Man extremely well. If you know the moves he attacks you with, like the dive and the upper flash kicks and whatnot, the Mii um, Brawler actually goes really well with it. So cool to see that we're getting some costumes of really obscure characters like the Flying Man and really cool characters like King K. Rool and Krom and fucking Lloyd Irving. Now, you don't have to tell me that this dude was highly requested for the Smash Ballot. I know for a fact Lloyd Irving got a ton of votes. I'm actually a big Tales of Symphonia fan myself and I had the GameCube version, you know, with the two discs. It was probably one of the best RPG moments I've ever had as a kid playing through this game. It was amazing in every single way, and by many people, it's regarded as the best Tales game in the series. Um, even now, still, the story was the story was magnificent. The characters were memorable, and the scenarios were fucking were fucking heart gripping. But Lloyd Irving is now going to be confirmed as a me costume. So I don't know, guys. I mean. A lot of you dudes seem to hold on hope that these guys are still going to be in the game. And I guess I understand that. I do. Because, you know, I was a Ridley supporter at one point. The only thing we fucking had was hope. Because everything was getting disproven left, right, and center. And there were so many things that were against us. But we stayed strong. So, you know what? It was wrong for me to judge people to um, that I wanted to support their characters or believe that they were still in the game. Because I was one of you guys as well, too. Like, my heart was ripped out and destroyed by Sakurai when he fully made Ridley a boss and then mentioned after the fact that, you know what, yeah, I'm never going to put Ridley in because he wouldn't be Ridley at that point. You know what, I can understand where you guys are coming from, so please continue to have hope for your character. Even if Lloyd Irving is in Mii form, a lot of you dudes did mention before that there are characters who have hats in Mii form and still are characters. I'm going to be making a video addressing that later on though, but you know, there's still a chance. Lloyd Irving would be a great character in Smash. And to be honest with you guys, I'm surprised we haven't really seen much mention of him until now. Did he even have a trophy in any previous games? I'm not 100% sure, but definitely one of the most memorable RPGs from the GameCube saga. And it's cool to see that he's being respected, finally, and given the recognition that he deserves in a much bigger stage by being put in as a me character in Smash. It's really cool to see. Um, Lloyd Irving, man. Like, this dude... If you don't know where he's from or Tales of Symphonia, you definitely need to check that game out because it's worth playing. Really cool to see, man. I can't wait to... Tempest! <laughs> I love that shit. Anyways, oh, and he's also going to be a sword fighter. But Lloyd had two swords, so it's not going to work out that well. He actually carried two blades, but... Oh, he only has one sheath and the other one is unsheathed? That's insane. But, um, and then let's see. Is there anything else to show? No, it doesn't sound like there's anything else to show right now. I can't obviously translate these. We can try with the Bing translate. Let me see. Anything else? No, no, no. Um, let, me, let me see. Let me see. Everyone's like, why? <laughs> um, get this shit out of here. It's perfectly explanatory. Everyone's upset, you know? I mean, there's a lot of people that do believe that having a me costume made of you does deconfirm you. 
But who knows, maybe tomorrow we could see Krom, King K. Rule, and Lloyd Irving be implemented in the game. It's a possibility. I mean, I know you dudes want to believe, so I'll believe with you. I'll support you on this one. I want to see the shit happen as well, too. And nowhere did Sakurai ever say that me making a me costume out of a character automatically means they're deconfirmed. It's just kind of following the trend of what he's done over the previous times that makes you say, okay, maybe it is. Or maybe the, ma the act of making them a me character in general kind of makes it seem like, okay, that's just something to placate the people that wanted that character since you're not going to get an actual character. Oh, well. It was the case with the assist trophies at one point, and now it's the case with the, Mii, with the Mii Fighter costumes. It seems like it's something he's doing in order to make the people that wanted that character happy, since their character's not going to be implemented fully into a slot. But that's just me presuming. I'm not saying that's the case, that's the standard, but you never know. Either way, I hope you dudes get your characters in, man. Lloyd is actually a character close to my heart, so seeing this kind of made me a little heartbroken, but I want to be proven wrong. I want Sakurai to show me that it is possible to have a me character like in the game with a costume and then have a me character who is represented him actually be a character slot you know i don't know but we'll see guys i'm gonna make another video about this later on today talking more in detail and i'll see you dudes in the next one take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one